The mythical 99% search impression share. Does it exist? Is it possible? I'm gonna show you in this video. Let's go. Hey people, my name is Sam and I help e-commerce stores grow remotely. Today we're looking at search impression share and how to grow that to 99% in your Google Ads account. Okay, before I get into it, what is search impression share? A good way to think about search impression share is imagine you put a billboard next to a highway and people drive past it every day on their way to work. How many people that drove past that billboard today actually looked up and saw the billboard? That is the search impression share. It's calculated by using the formula search impressions divided by the eligible search impressions. Let me use this billboard example again. So these people driving on their way to work past this billboard, they had eyes, they were on the road, they were classified as eligible. They could have seen the billboard, but only a number of them actually looked up and saw it. So if 10 people drove down that road and eight people looked up and saw it, your search impression share would be eight out of 10, which is 80%. With Google search impression share, it's exactly the same, but with searches. Say you have 10 people searching with a query and you only show up eight of those 10 times, your search impression share is 80%, eight out of 10. But why don't you get those extra two impressions? Well, this is the juicy bit. It can be due to a myriad of factors, but the main two ones are budget and bidding. Budget is the biggest one. Often when I open an account, I can see the search impression share by unhiding the columns, and you'll see that often budget is the thing that limits a campaign. And this is actually really sad because we'll see that a campaign is performing really well. It's incredibly profitable, but the person that owns the account has kept the budget on say $10. So it's incredibly profitable, but every day $10 gets used up when they could have spent $100. There were $90 worth of searches, but they used up their budget boop, and then boom, they couldn't use the rest of the potential budget. This is really sad because the account is super limited. It has this potential very easily to perform way better, but the budget is capping performance. The other reason that can cause a lower search impression share is the bidding. If you're not bidding high enough to be competitive in the rankings, then you're not gonna show for those search terms. This is different from the budget factor because maybe it's actually a good thing you're not showing. I'm going to explain why. A lot of people think that with Google Ads, they just wanna try and get in front of as many people as possible. The more eyeballs on their ad, the better. This isn't the best option. This shouldn't be the case. Stop thinking like this. This is like trying to get on every single television in the world. Yes, it's going to drive a lot of sales, but it's gonna cost a lot of money too. A lot of unnecessary money. The beauty of PPC and digital marketing is that you have all these levers to play with and you can choose exactly who to show your ad to. This means you could show on a million televisions, but only 10,000 people buy. Well, with digital marketing, you can then show on 10,000 televisions and get 10,000 people to buy. That's an extreme example, but that's the great thing about PPC. You can segment your market and only show to certain people. Your focus should be on your own account and trying to drive the most profit possible. That's what we really care about here. It's not a competition to get the most views. Let's just make money for your business. And the thing is, every single account is going to be different. Every account has different quality scores, different products, different landing pages. So competing directly with another brand, yeah, you can take some bits and pieces from their strategy, but it's so much more efficient and effective to manage your bids, manage your campaigns, manage your strategies based on your own business and product. You're gonna stand out and Google's gonna reward you for that. You should instead manage your campaigns based on the profit they are generating. This means don't go increasing your bids willy-nilly to try and get this 99% search impression share. No, increase your bids when you believe it's gonna create more profit for your business because there's a massive opportunity there and driving more clicks is gonna increase the conversions. This is why I talk about this 99% mythical beast of search impression share because really, don't go chasing that beast. You'll just be running through the wild and you'll be chasing your own tail. What's better is to focus your mind on the actual profit generated in your account and scale it that way. That's the best strategy that I've seen time and time again. That's all for today. I really hope you found this video useful. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. That tells YouTube that our content is valuable for some people and I really, really appreciate that. 
As always, if you have any questions, just leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Otherwise, if you're not subscribed and you wanna get more tutorials, case studies, and Google Ads audits, I really recommend hitting the subscribe button and turning on notifications because I'm releasing a lot of tutorials, case studies, and audits of marketing strategies to help you grow and scale your store remotely. I'm going to leave a link to two different playlists in the description. One is a playlist of Google Ads audits where I go into a real Google Ads account and find all the low hanging fruit and strategies that can help it reduce costs and scale like crazy. The other playlist is a playlist of my own e-commerce store that I'm documenting here on YouTube. I'm showing you the exact income, profit, and strategies I'm using to scale that store from zero to seven figures. I've never documented a store like this, but I'm doing it here on YouTube and you'll be able to see each episode in the series in that playlist. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.